Hi, everyone. Happy Cinco de Mayo. My name is Tim Gibbons. I'm a startup operator with Protocol Labs um, on the services team. And the idea that I wanted to explore is a storage solution for visual effects vendors. So um, why visual effects? So the big thing about visual effects is that aside from deadlines, the thing that people complain the most about is actually storage. And it's a really big deal for these firms. Um, they're constantly running out. Shows are constantly getting more complicated year after year. And so when you look at kind of the largest companies in the VFX space, they're using around, well, they're using upwards of 20 petabytes. If you even look at smaller companies in the space, they're using upwards of a petabyte. So um, there's a real need there. I've kind of oversimplified their storage needs here, but just kind of this is to illustrate what I wanted to focus in on for, for this pilot or this project. Um, they have nightly backup needs where um, they're just backing up everything on their servers. It's not you know, super time critical. And then they also have backups that they do of the shows that they work on for, for the studios. What's unique about these companies? So if you contrast this to say like an NFT project, the, you know, the people who are running the NFT projects, they typically own their, they've created their own IP and, you know, you're just dealing with them. So they're, they're, they're not really a middleman that you're dealing with. With visual effects, you're actually dealing with a middleman and the, the entities that control the intellectual property are the studios themselves. And the studios in 2018, they created this thing called the TPN. And the TPN is just this organization that kind of protect all the IP because they're very, very concerned about this and they're very lawyered up. So they conduct um, annual reviews of all their vendors. So this is not just visual effects. This is like, you know, if you're doing translations or editorial or, or anything else where you're handling their files they want to actually do an audit of you. And, and that includes not just digital, but physical. So if you're storing something on site, they want to make sure you have cameras and you have badges and you have the appropriate security, that sort of thing. The other thing that's unique about visual effects storage needs or, or, or yeah, what, they, what they basically have to do is they have to save things by directory structure that's very critical because if you want to rebuild files or scenes or that sort of thing, all this stuff feeds into that. I tried to pilot something with a company called Mammal Studios. So Mammal um, does a lot of work with Marvel. They have, right now they have about 25 employees. They just finished up Moon Knight. They're working at Thor Love and Thunder. And every night they have a need to back up 500 um, terabytes of data. They also, they back up their shows like on a per show basis and it takes up about six terabytes. So they were very interested in running a pilot to see if they this could help them out. Because they've priced out AWS it's about $27,000 a year for their, if they wanted to cover their nightly backups over the course of a year. Um, and that doesn't include, there's also retrieval fees that go on top of that. So they were very keen to kind of see if this would be uh, a good solution for them. Then just trying to pair up what would be kind of a nice, um, a nice match for them, kind of arrived at web, pointed them to web3.storage um, because you, know, you don't need an invite, it's free. You can just get started. Maybe we can start with a terabyte and see how that works. They started it up, they tried it, but um, the kind of stumbling block was that when they were reading through the FAQ on Web3 storage, there was no guarantee that once they wanted something deleted from the servers, that it would be deleted from the servers. So that was an issue for them. And they also had issues with who can see, even though it's encrypted, who can see this or access this. So they, they had some concerns and they didn't want to get into any trouble. So they um, we kind of stopped right there. So maybe for the purposes of keeping this pilot going we might be able to come up with like a custom contract where whoever the storage provider is they agree we'll delete this from our servers we'll give you some sort of uh, indication that it, that it's gone and we'll also rope it off so that no one else can can access it so that might be something for the pilot but i think further along if you really did want to pursue this or the company did want to pursue this you'd have to look at all those kind of tpn um, regulations and rules and, and basically work with the storage providers to vet them and make sure that they can they can pass all those things. And if you could, you could create a system where you onboard people to those specific storage providers that 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 um, meet those requirements. So thank you to everyone at Launchpad. Uh, appreciate the opportunity to present this.